Welcome back to Yoshi Entertainment, everybody. So just recently, it hit the media that P. Diddy and Diageo are no longer business partners, that they settled their disagreement, their legal disagreement. Now, I guess that some people thought that Ciroc was owned by P. Diddy. But of course, after all these allegations and these lawsuits, we have found out that P. Diddy didn't own nothing. He didn't run nothing. He was a glorified celebrity figurehead for a part of their brand. He claimed that there was some kind of racial discrimination going on with Ciroc and them not promoting Ciroc because he was the figurehead of that brand versus what was going on with the other brands that they had. Now, here's what I have to say about that. First of all, once again, he didn't own nothing. He didn't run nothing down there at Ciroc, at Diageo. So he really didn't have the right to tell them what they could and could not do with their own brands. Point blank, period. You didn't like the fact that they weren't promoting it. You felt like that there was something going on racial. Why were you still working there with them? You should have started your own brand or something. That way you could have some control over it. But you can't go yoke yourself up, hinge yourself up with, and make agreements with people who do actually own the brands that you're representing, who do actually run stuff, and then expect them to do what you want them to do. That's not how this works. You're not the one in charge. They are. But I guess because he had allegedly gotten away with so much stuff, he was so protected in the industry, he had so much money, power, fame, and influence, he felt like he was on top of the world. So he somehow how built up found discovered the audacity the gall if you will to file a lawsuit with these people now let me let y'all know something these people at the top you know companies like the Azio, they are not to be messed with you can play around and do stuff you're not supposed to but there will be consequences p diddy really had to withdraw his allegations and the lawsuit was dismissed they came to an agreement but make no mistake this wasn't a win for him in any way or at least I don't think it was especially conveniently after all these other allegations started to pop up and a lot of people were saying well like I said this is mighty convenient we think what really happened is you pissed somebody off that was real high and mighty up there down there at Diageo and Ciroc and they decided well you know what he wants to step out of line because y'all remember there's always a bigger individual so to speak like I said, I feel like he got the big head he felt like because he was just smooth sailing through all this stuff that he didn't done, that he didn't put people through. He felt like he was untouchable, but there's always somebody who's even more untouchable, who has more money, who has more fame, more power, more influence. And when you step on their toes, they will show you just how much more they have than you do. And like I said, paired with the uncannily timely lawsuit that Cassie filed, a lot of people don't think that it's a coincidence. They don't think, oh, it's just a convenient thing that happened. No, they think that these people from Diageo are who are responsible for helping Cassie file these lawsuits. Because like a lot of people, I also don't believe that she could have done this by herself. Maybe she could have found some lawyers who would have helped her. But who high profile of a lawyer would have wanted to go against somebody like P. Diddy? She had to have somebody who was really powerful, really smart, really talented, who really knew their stuff and had connections working with her. So like I said, a lot of people really feel like it's just two and two, put it together and make four. And that basically, allegedly, low key, these people might have had something to do with helping Cassie take him down. Basically on some, oh, you thought you was about to file a lawsuit and get some money from us and then got a lawsuit filed against him and got some money taken from him to give to somebody who he wronged and messed over for so many years. I've said it before. I'll say it again. You reap what you sow. Actions have consequences. And very well, it could just be if this is all the truth. Like I said, it's allegedly, this is all speculation. We don't know for sure, but it could very well be the case. And if it is, like I said, this is literally just the consequences of his actions. Once again, sometimes it takes somebody bigger than someone else to take that person down. Eventually they're going to slip up. They're going to step on somebody's toes. They're going to piss somebody off in a much more higher place than them. And they're going to get what's coming to them. It's sad that it takes that. It's sad that there's somebody who didn't just have power to begin with that looked at the situation and said, I just want to help the victims. But unfortunately, this is how it goes in the secular world, in the industry. But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think of all this down in the comments below respectfully. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all all have a very blessed, beautiful and safe day.